Thank you so much for inviting me to join you today. My name is David Crane, and I'm the director for the Office of Clean Energy Demonstrations, or OSED, at the United States Department of Energy. I'd first like to thank EEI for including me in this important event and for giving me the opportunity to make an announcement about one of our programs. I appreciate all the work that EEI does to support the Department of Energy, and it's a pleasure to speak with you today. But first, a little bit about OSED. To tackle our nation's most pressing climate challenges and scale the emerging technologies needed in the electricity sector, OSED received close to $25 billion for demonstration projects from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act. Our funding by statute is to take the form of grants with up to 50% cost sharing with our private sector partners but for our part, we expect no return on capital and no return of capital. In OSED, our intent is to catalyze impactful demonstration projects, partnering with the private sector to take technologies beyond pilot stage, build projects at commercial scale in the real world, and continuously improve them. We will help prove the effectiveness of innovative technologies in real world conditions at scale to ultimately pave the way towards widespread adoption and deployment. While we have many technologies in the OSED portfolio, today I'll highlight our Long Duration Energy Storage Demonstrations Program and share an exciting announcement that I think will be of interest to this audience. Today we are releasing a funding opportunity announcement for nearly $350 million to demonstrate emerging long-duration energy storage systems. For this funding opportunity, we are looking for long-duration energy storage demonstration projects that will validate first-of-a-kind technologies and enhance the capabilities of customers and communities to integrate grid storage more effectively. We are seeking long-duration energy storage systems capable of delivering electricity for 10 to 24 hours or longer to provide interday and multi-day support to the low-cost, reliable, carbon-free electric grid that we all aspire to create. As our nation moves towards a carbon-free electric grid that relies more on variable, renewable energy generation, the need for reliable long-duration energy storage that can supply enough energy over long periods of time and during periods of resource intermittency becomes ever more important. Today's long-duration energy storage technologies, while varied and promising, fall far short of meeting the commercial demands needed for the broad use of renewable energy on the electrical grid. Cheaper and longer-duration energy storage can also increase local control of the power system, build resilience for communities, minimize power grid disruptions and help reach the Biden-Harris administration's goal of a carbon-free electric grid by 2035 and a net zero emissions economy by 2050. Long duration energy storage is also critical to achieving the department-wide goal of reducing the cost of grid scale energy storage by 90% within this decade. This would open up enormous new possibilities for how we get clean baseload power. When you combine this funding announcement with the Inflation Reduction Act, the most significant climate legislation in U.S. history, we are at a pivotal moment. The IRA, as applied to long-duration energy storage, expands clean energy tax credits to amounts up to 45 percent of the total cost of storage installation, giving businesses the confidence they need to invest and build these clean energy technologies of the future. To ensure these projects also create clean energy jobs, the Long Duration Energy Storage Funding Announcement includes a community benefits plan from each applicant. Community benefits plans are based on a set of four core policy priorities, investing in America's workforce, engaging communities in labor, advancing diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility, and finally, implementing Justice 40. These key principles, when incorporated comprehensively into project proposals and executed upon, will help ensure broadly shared prosperity in the clean energy transition and also 
we believe you'll agree with us, de-risk these projects for your benefit and for ours. For this funding opportunity, we envision selecting up to 11 demonstration projects. Letters of intent are due by December 15, 2022, and full applications are due by March 3rd of next year. Additional funding opportunities may follow to validate and accelerate commercialization of long duration energy storage technologies. To learn more about this funding opportunity, please visit the OSED website at energy.gov slash OSED. In conclusion, I hope that you will work with us to deploy DOE's historic levels of federal funding for clean energy technologies, such as long duration energy storage, in the most impactful way possible. Whether you have worked with DOE in the past or this is your first time, I want to make a personal commitment to each of you that we are preparing for a different type of DOE, timely, transparent, and constructive. We hope to provide true value added to your project execution beyond just the provision of capital. For our funding to have a catalytic impact toward the equitable clean energy transition, we truly need you to engage with OSED. I believe we are at an inflection point and together we can realize the full potential that both the private and public sectors can bring towards achieving our nation's 2035 and 2050 climate goals. Thank you again for inviting me to join you today and help kick off what I'm sure will be insightful conversations around major issues impacting electric companies their investors, customers, and stakeholders. I look forward to working with all of you on this exciting endeavor. Thank you very much.